Hello everybody and welcome to the video. This is Dovlin. Today guys we have a new video about some resort. Today we're gonna talk about CAN. We're gonna have a look on how to use CAN, how to build CAN. I'm gonna give you two options. Mostly uh, you can decide then what build you wanna go for. CAN is actually, actually there might be, oh wow. GG. Um, please, one for me come to us. Uh, but yeah, GG Narsha. But anyway, yeah, Ken probably has a few different type of builds that you can use. Honestly, it's similar-ish to uh, Moore. Skill 2 is the same. Skill 2 is one of the reasons why Moore is so strong. Obviously, it doesn't have speed uh, lead, Ken, or Bernadotte. Uh, it doesn't have uh, the passive, but skill 1 and skill 2 are the same as Moore. So it's probably the one unit that is the closest to more if you don't have more obviously these are stone rotations so if you don't have more probably should go for that uh then again it's probably gonna get nerfed but anyway guys we went into the video don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already it's free and support the channel a whole lot guys so if you can please hit that button it really really helps all right ken uh i've seen obama building him on swift i'm gonna say it straight away um i'm gonna mention that straight away because i know people are gonna say Hey, Dolph Obama builds it on Swift. Is it good? It's the best build. Is I'm saying I'm gonna say it's a really good build if you have Obabo's kind of runes. Obabo has can on plus two twenty five, I'm pretty sure. Um on Swift. Swift Nemesis plus two twenty five that makes it almost at three thirty speed. And that's a one or three <laughs> base speed unit. That is crazy crazy. So if you can do something like that, I would say at least plus 220, the very least plus 220, but then don't expect to actually outspeed Asher, you probably not. Also the Swift can probably works only if you have a full um, full Swift unit, sorry, full Swift team. So all the units are really fast, it's strip and uh, decrease attack bar is not super reliable, yes we see more doing that all the time. but. Honestly, that's not super reliable, so you shouldn't count on this too much. But also, yes, he has a strip here as well, so you could rely a little bit on that. Uh, obviously, in that case, you're gonna need a lot of accuracy for him because you're actually relying on strip and and still attack bar. You're actually doing that, so you need max accuracy in that can if you go swift. So speed, crit rate, attack probably, and accuracy uh, leader skill. Accuracy leader skill. Accuracy sub, but you should go for max accuracy leader skill. Oh yeah, Swift broken in general is a good build. Um, you can go Swift focus if you need accuracy. Uh, if you go crit rate, and you should go crit rate level four. You're probably not needing blade runes, so as an offset, Nemesis is obviously good. If you can go Will, it's obviously good. As I said, it's probably gonna get out bad by like Asher, Yonong, and so on. So Will is not bad. But like, Swift Broken is actually pretty good. So focus on speed, focus on 100 crit rate, attack, some HP and so on, and max accuracy. Uh, but I think Swift can needs a Swift, um, a Swift team. I'm gonna show you my can, and uh, I'm gonna say why I have him like that. Also, this bad can is not bad. Again, he has uh, this strip as well, and into this. The cooldown here is free turn cooldown. It's not that long anyway. And it's too, it should steal some attack wire, so it should get an extra turn, uh, if not straight away in a second. Uh, so the cooldown that is not bad as a strip. So this pair is not bad. This pair, especially if you go Tomo, this pair is actually pretty good. If you go Eleanor, it's gonna be pretty good. If you uh, even Shizuka actually would benefit from this pair. Um, I would build them the same way: speed, crit rate, attack, probably with accuracy subs from the runes. Uh, I would say this pair is probably the worst build out of the three I'm gonna mention, but it's definitely viable. Um, I want to mention something else, but I think I forgot. I'm gonna sh just show you my can, and my one is a uh, anti-Leo can. That's how it is, um, 100 crit rate, he's on crit damage, he has no speed. Again, it's an anti-Leo, so it don't need speed. I would just, I would likely, sorry, I would like to give up the 40 speed for extra attack or even HP or accuracy, I don't need this. Also, I want to mention something else. If you go Swift can, the good thing about him is he can go skill 3 into skill 2 even against Ragdolls. 
he can do the same against Verde Hill he can do the same because if he creates all three hits here he just takes an extra turn so even if Verde counter then you move again he, sh he would have to counter again yeah but you you would be really unlucky there if you don't kill the bird if he doesn't counter the second time when you do the spinning you can still attack bar so the opponent don't move so it's good that if you even if you have if sorry even if you fight against a ragdoll even if he creates on skill 3 he's still gonna go skill 2 so you're not gonna get, get caught there even by a belly and so on uh, so yeah and Leo can I have him on rage will is like this 100 crit rate uh, as much damage as possible but as it is and sorry about these guys but I can't get the grinds from the from the ancient uh, thing uh, as I was saying if you if you go and tell you you need him decently tanky he's gonna get focus he does insane amount of damage like that but he is gonna get focus so additional damage lines are good crit damage lines are good uh, accuracy is not bad but mostly I have this because of the crit damage and attack, additional damage attack uh, is pretty good as it is like this uh, right now and I use him a decent amount it's a really fun unit you're going for speed let's say I pick Water Rio Tableau they go Leo something I'm not gonna just entertain them anymore I'm just gonna go with Verd, Valen Verd uh, I can go Ken, I can go a Be a Belenus and so on so make sure you build some anti-Leo comps, some anti-Leo units and uh, yeah but Ken is one of the better ones make sure you um, skill up the least skill 2 and skill 3 the cooldown is really really important and this has a fat rate as well so you make sure you, you skill up at least at the very least skill 2 Rage will, don't go off will because otherwise you might get defense broken and killed before it even moves and yes Leo you don't need speed against Leo but then after Leo moves it's still the game still considered the speed on the units so most of the other team units are gonna move before you can if not everybody and if he doesn't have will it's gonna be really really easy for them to kill it if he has will they still need to strip it if he lands a strip then they can go for it but if the unit then needs to strip like Chompong uh, don't need to strip then you can just go skill 2 right reset the can I mean it might not land but anyway I feel like will is really important swift broken despair will or rage will I think fatal will is fine as well uh, but don't forget and the under crit rate is really, really important but yeah guys that's gonna be it for the video I hope you enjoyed it I hope it helps if you have any questions as always ask in the comment below guys thank you so much for watching I'll see you on the next one bye bye buddy take care guys stay safe bye